Hello you guys, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome, my name's Mandy. Today we actually have budget content here. Um, I don't really like to show a lot of my own budget. However, I do create my own budget trackers. I create my own budget um, planner and I really love it. So I try to share what I love with you guys and what works for me. So today I really wanted to share my annual trackers because these have been such a, like just an important part of my budget and not only making sure that we are staying on budget, that we even have a budget, but that we know what we're spending. And I know budgets can be daunting and I, I don't talk about them a ton here on my channel, at least anymore. Um, because I've had some challenges with it myself, being that I was working and I went um, to not working and staying home with my children and then adding on the kind of, you know, expense of homeschool. So it has definitely been a challenge and I've had to um, just kind of really, really reel, reel it in on our budget and make sure that we are only spending where necessary. So that has definitely been a journey and it's continuing to be a journey. It's always going to be a journey, but my budget trackers are honestly the, or a budget tracker is honestly, seriously the best way that I can look back and see what I'm spending, what we are spending too much on what we are spending regularly and how I can plan ahead to know, you know, what to expect for the next month or the next year. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys just in general is the options that I have for budget trackers. My absolute favorite, I use two, okay? Well, I use four, <laughs> but um, I... I specifically use this annual tracker and I'm wanting to make sure you guys can see that. So as you can see, I start with the category and on my annual tracker, so I have my, my actual filled out ones here. So you'll see me kind of reach a here, here, but on this actual tracker is where I keep track of the different categories of spending that we have. So I will refer to some of my budget pages to show you this. Um, I have 20 here. I like to have a lot. I'm the type of person that will categorize and subcategorize. I don't always want a lot, but, and I know they say to keep it down to a very, you know, minimal amount. But if I say, let's say like family fun, well, that could consist of family, like food, restaurants, that could consist of um getting into like a museum that could consist of the food and anything we bought at a baseball game. I mean, there's just so much. So there, I have basically had to kind of separate it where we have family fun, like activity spending, and then we have family food, like when we go out to um, like on a restaurant or to a restaurant or, um, you know, like getting like a, like a, donut or you know at the at church or something like that so we definitely um I like to subcategories and I've learned that I like to do that because I've done this where I've gone back and I've gone okay family fun we've spent so much money on family fun what did we spend money on when we spent money on family fun was it more food was it more getting you know um entrance fees what was it? So I kind of like to do that. And then the other way that I, that I do that is I actually keep track of our categories here. Now I'm not um, saying this is part of my budget and so are the trackers um, that are on Etsy right now, but I've updated the trackers. Um, so you might end up having to, uh, if you are interested in my system here, you might end up having to get the budget and then the updated trackers. So, okay, so I do have my son in the room playing very quietly. So if you hear some kind of random noise, that's what it is. He is doing such a good job and he just wants to be around his mama. So I'm totally okay with that and I love it. But I wanted to let you know if you might hear a little bit of noise in the background. Okay, back to the budget though. So I just like to have like, you know, boxes for my categories and 
that way I can list off like where we spent the money at. So that way, if I ever need to look back at the details of things, my category tracker here may or may not have it in detail. So, you know, as you can see, there's only so much room there. But this is where I can actually put, you know, the the place, the exact the, the place we went to, who it was for maybe, um, and a little bit more information. And it's already under the category. I don't have to search for the category on my expense tracker. So I put things on my exp expense tracker here as I check it off in my bank account, but then I categorize it here so I can see it all in one layout. And these are pretty much in the same order as what I put this in order as. So for example, this is my annual tracker. So this is my tracker for my categories and my categories are my category spending. They're not my bills, they're not my savings, they're my category spending. So um, I left these blank and when I do this, I can say, oh, I need to fix that. So, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So for example, just to kind of give you an idea, I would have auto here. So I'm looking at auto and I'm in the month of April. I have mine filled out here already, just to let you guys know. Um, so every month, whatever we spent in auto total goes here. So here we have $57.50 and $20 for April. So I would write $67.50. And I know this is like really crunched, but that's because I want everything for the year on one um, page. So that way I can see everything at the end of the year or throughout the year. Or I can look back on other years and see how we spent a little bit more and so forth. So as you can see, you would end up writing down all your categories just once. So here I would write the next one. I would write health and beauty or fitness. Um, yeah, I do have to scrunch it in, but I kind of figure that's going to happen when I'm trying to fit everything I spend in to one tracker. Um, so it doesn't bother me that much is what I'm trying to say, but it might bother some. Okay, the so as you can imagine, you would have everything filled in here. You would have everything that you categorized and kept track on throughout the month, but by the end of the year or by the end of a few months, you would notice how much you are spending in clothing, how much you are spending on birthdays, or what months you are spending a little bit more on on birthdays, whatever your categories end up being. Um, that's why I love this tracker so much because I fully did it. Now I'm on my second and a half year, maybe three and a half years. I've just updated the tracker to work better for me each year. And um, I I've truly found what I absolutely love. So I keep track of all my categories here. And then at the end of the month, you add them up right here, total category expenses. Um, sorry, right here for the end of the month. This one's just like if you wanted to put together a, like an annual budget for it. I do not ex have that right now, but my old budget did when we had um, extra money, I guess you, sh you could say, while I was, when I was working, I would make a budget. Um, and then at the end of the year, you can put the total here. Now, at the end of the month, you add it all up and you put however much you spent on all of your spending categories here. Okay, then you have your total fixed bills. Well, that's not on here, I know that. But what you can do on the other side here is you can have your separate bills. So what I do is I have my fixed bills up top and then I have my variable bills down here and I just list them out. So for example, fixed bills might be your mortgage. Let's see, let me turn my other one over to get some more ideas. Um, um, one of ours is actually Netflix. Um, 
we have this retirement account or retirement yeah and I would probably just make that a little nicer but I have our iCloud so as you can see like these are all the bills that have the same amount that come out every month now the ones that have different amounts that come out every month would go here those are your variable bills something a little bit different so this way all my bills are on the same tracker and I'm getting to see them annually so as I see how much let's say like for example you were tracking like your water bill I'm just gonna write water <laughs> electricity um, stuff like that you would be able to see like where how much you paid in January compared to how much you paid you know in the summer and you'd be able to, to to see that and seeing those numbers I think is so important and so interesting so at the end of the month same idea you add it all up and you put it down here so you would have your total down here you would take that total for that month and then you go here say we're in March or April um, you would put your total fixed bills here, your total variable bills here. So now you have your total category expenses, all the things that you total your spent money on that weren't necessarily bills, but kind of needed to get used, maybe not needed, you know, it's, it's what you spend. And then you have your fixed bills that kind of came out automatically or you had to pay your bills, right? And your variable bills. And then I actually have some money I put to savings. So I called those total savings bills because I do treat, we treat our, a few of our savings um, as bills. So every month we put a certain amount to those, um, to those accounts. Now I use just another one of these. So basically I print up two of these. So I have fixed bills, variable bills. And then I also have a sheet where I keep track of our monthly transfers to our savings accounts, and that's what these ones are. So for example, if we have a CD, I keep, um, we have an, a Christmas savings account, we have, um, we have like another, let's see, another, you know, you could call them whatever you want. We have different savings accounts, and you have so much that comes out every or goes into those accounts every month then you would add them up here so let's just say it was five dollar five hundred dollars that is where you would take that amount and you would write it under here so as you can see let's say I'm just gonna put numbers in for you guys so it, it's a little bit more helpful so let's say your bills were just gonna round a thousand dollars um, for fixed bills, we're going to say variable bills. We're going to say $1,000 too. So we're going to transfer those amounts to our, um, our tracker here. And as you can see, like every other month, you would already have all your spending as well. So some things might be the same, like your fixed bills. Some things might be a little bit different. Um, let's say your categories, we're just going to do a thousand dollars too. You guys, these numbers don't mean anything. They're just helping my head, helping my brain. Um, and then you are going to add all of these up. So you basically, I should have put my savings here. Um, and just so you guys know, I, I print this because I like to use this also to track our account balances. Um, it's not necessary for this, obviously, but it's a nice way to use another tracker and to make sure that you are keeping track of some of your other important things. So if you were to see mine, I would literally have all my category spending here, our fixed bills here, our variable bills here, our savings transfers here, like our bills, our savings, and then our savings... Um, uh, account balances, I should say, here. And that's how I really like to do it. The other side of the page, um, I don't end up, I'm so sorry about the noise, you guys. The other side of the page, I don't end up doing um, this. I have another version in my shop that is more blank like this. So you don't have to do this if you um, 
don't like keeping track like this you actually have it like cleared out like that and what I like to do is I like to keep track of any of our income here because you know payments come in more than once a month so I like to keep track of those specifically here and then I also like to keep track of like Etsy income and any annual or monthly memberships I like to keep track there I'm um, sorry specifically annual because those only come out once a year so I do use four pages two are two-sided so yes I use four pages two are two-sided um, so after you basically kind of got your categories in line here you put your total amount of categories there you have your fixed bills you put your total so you have your total um, on both pages your total goes here and then we put it here same thing with my variable bills uh, obviously you can use these however you want this is just how I how I categorize my bills and stuff so then I put that there um, I have my savings um, so then I basically you know put I take out whatever has been transferred to our savings as a bill as we treat our savings as bills I total that here and a lot of times that one's pretty much the same just because unless we make like a change in the middle of the year that we want to start putting more or less somewhere so that amount ends up going here as well you total um, now is when you can total up all of these expenses so you add them all together we have so I have I had to erase because I thought I filmed this already and it didn't so um, so you have 3,500 sorry that's not coming through very well um, and then let's just say our income which I kind of mentioned already but when I use on the other side of this I would usually print up a blank one like this this is where I would put um, any multiple incomes that came through and our annual memberships but those multiple incomes I would have put for example I might put like my husband's income number one number two you know however many times it comes out but it would be listed under that month so for example we've got january february march april is what we're in right now and i might put a month you know an amount here and then he got paid another time here so then i can add those two up and when i add those two up let's just pretend it totaled four thousand and then you take 3,500 from 4,000 and we would have 500 left over. That is just these numbers. As I said, they don't mean anything for our budget. <laughs> it's totally different than this, but I wanted to show you for the sake of the video and getting you guys uh, information on how I like to do this. Now, what's so cool about this system, I think, is that you will, if you've been tracking it each month and you've been adding up your numbers and putting them here, you see basically how much you spent in your categories. Um, yeah, you see it specifically in auto here and in health and fitness here and in birthdays here, but when you add it all up, you see how much it was overall for the whole month and you'd probably be very surprised if you are feeling like you need to just kind of like get a hold of your budget, see what's going on, like where are we spending all this money, I'm going to bet it's those extra categories. But this is such a wonderful way to figure that out. And I know it's so hard to be patient, you guys. But if you just get started, it's kind of like anything. Just get started and you will start to see it. And then you can start to be more consistent with it and motivated. And you will um, figure out if there are any ways or areas that you can save some money. So that's why I love these trackers so much. And I had to share them with you guys because I feel like I've gotten them down to where I can fit it all on a page here at least this portion of it and um and you can use it for the whole year i don't have to have a whole separate page for that month although i can um if i want you know to write it just the month out but this has been so nice because it is it does exactly what i do on one whole separate page for a month and then if I want to look back on other months I have to go pull those other months or keep them in my planner which keeps my planner bulky and you guys know I'm trying to keep the clutter out so having these trackers in my planner all year long I actually still have last year's in my planner as well so I can look back and compare this year 
um, like this month to last year's month, stuff like that. It's only a couple pages and I can keep it in there all the time. So just a quick recap. I usually use four pages. I use the annual tracker for my categories. I have 20, 20 spaces for categories and on the same one is where I keep track of the total about amount of these categories, the total fixed and variable bills, which I just keep on the other side. And as things come out throughout the month, I write them down here. So as you're, as you're doing your expense tracker, you write them down here as well. Um, as you're doing your expense tracker and they're not bills, I usually write them down here and at the end of the month is where I add them up and put them here. So it does, you do have to take a, probably an hour to your budget at the end of every month and make sure that you got all the numbers correct in here. And then I also use another one for, there it is, for my savings because we treat some savings like bills and I recommend doing that if you can and I have that here. And this bottom one, I just usually keep, I don't need to keep track on my annual, but I do like to keep track of our overall account balances. So if you guys are trying to do something similar, I figured I would, you know, share with you guys what I'm doing at the same time as these wonderful trackers. So you would maybe write the different savings or just all over accounts that you have here and write the balances because here is where you're writing what comes out of them that month and here's where I'm writing what um, the balance is actually um, in as of that month. So then the other side, so as you can see, I have one, two, three, and then the other side is um, usually a blank one like this where I keep track of income. Uh-oh. That's okay. You guys know what I'm writing. I have different incomes. I do have Etsy, an Etsy shop, so I like to write down my Etsy incomes here. And they pay every week or pay out every week. So as you can see, I just kind of do that. And then I like to, you know, total it up somewhere. So this is kind of like my own, like, not so pretty page, but it works. And then any annual membership. So this basically allows me to keep track of a few different things. And it's all in just two double-sided pages. And then at the end of every month, you total up your income from this page. And then you put your total here and your expenses are all totaled right here. And then you see if you had any money left over or maybe you were in the negative and you had to grab from savings. That happens too. So these are my favorite trackers so far that I have made over the many, many years of budgeting. Very detailed. Um, I've always budgeted since I have had to take care of myself. I always used the check registers. I love those and that's kind of the idea behind my um, expense trackers here. As you can see, I have checks I have to make when things come out of the account and then I make a check mark on it when I categorize it here as well. So if you're interested in more details of my budget tracking process, go ahead and watch one of the videos. I'll link one down below. Um, you can also find my playlist on budgeting. But these trackers, I think, are one of the number one things you would want in order to really get a hold of your budget and maybe change your life with your budget. I'm, I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm, I'm being pretty serious that these are so helpful and I don't have to go ruffling through all my papers and past budgets, I can keep all of these and I don't have to keep all of, um, these are actually fun to keep just to see the details, but you don't have to keep any of the other stuff if you have these trackers. So I know that was a lot, but if you guys are interested in these, I do have them linked um, down below in my Etsy shop. Um, they're, th they're the best thing I've added to my budget. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below or find me on Instagram. I'm at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters. I'm so glad you were here for me today for this and hit the like button. If you um, felt like you got anything out of it, or if you like this video or budgeting content and subscribe if you haven't already, because I do talk about budget stuff, but I also talk about other ways to use your planner to be productive and um, just have a more intentional um, life for yourself and in a functional planning way. So I will see you guys for the next one. Have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye guys.